It was 14th of June 1969. Six-year-old Dennis Martin was camping with older family members in Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. At around 4.30 in the afternoon, he disappeared. He was last seen by his father going behind a bush to hide, intending on surprising the adults with other children. While other children quickly emerged, Dennis Martin never did. Over the next few days, thousands of people began to comb the park looking for Dennis Martin. Even the FBI and the Queen Bench showed up to look through some of the most difficult areas to search. In the end, the only remains of Dennis they found was a single sock and shoe. And just after Dennis Martin disappeared, heavy rain had broken out, washing away all the trails. It was the largest search in the history of the park and no trace of Dennis Martin was found. After some years, in 1985, a man who had been illegally collecting ginseng in the park claimed to have come across skeletal remains of a child but failed to inform authorities for fear of prosecution. When investigators followed up, it turned up nothing. He became disoriented and died due to exposure. According to park officials, this is the most probable theory. He was attacked by a wild bear. Dennis Martin was abducted by someone. This theory is largely based on the eyewitness testimony of the Key family. The Key family claimed they heard a loud sickening scream on the afternoon Dennis Martin disappeared. They had witnessed a hairy man carrying something in his arms, attempting to remain unseen, fleeing through the woods. The family further claimed that the figure had a red object slung over his shoulder, matching the clothing Dennis Martin was wearing the day he disappeared.